This is Bimble. He lives in Stiltsville. Everyone here helps to produce wool. Wool blended with fairy tales, which is sent out to every corner of the world. One day, Bimble acquires a bucket, a magic bucket, which will give him anything he wishes for. This is the guardian of the bucket, Teeny Weeny. Soon others are after it. Dolly Clackhanger for one. Dolly would dearly love to be the village witch, but she's been thrown out of the village because of the noise and mess caused by her experiments. The small one is her assistant, Sploot. Queen Cack, the lazy, greedy ruler of the country, also wishes to possess the bucket and sends her servants, Bilge and Euler, to steal it. But then everything blows up, Stiltsville is left hanging in the air and Slea City slides into the crater beneath. This morning at Chateau Clackhanger, Dolly is doing the one thing she's really good at. Producing large quantities of food by magic. Cool. I bet Queen Cack will be really impressed when she sees all the lovely food you made, Dolly. Oh. Stugo, red metis, red bot, a poo, bowly, wingy cow, red mavan, red mazard, yes, I hope it's the sort of thing Her Majesty likes. It's so difficult to tell with royalty. Well, it looks jolly nice to me. What it looks like to you, Sploot, is completely irrelevant. Just put it in those boxes. Yes, Dolly. And hurry up! Right, you first! Yes, Dolly. Down in the crater in Slee's city, Mudge is still perfecting the arrangements around the travelling pipe. We need a little less bounce in the cushion, I fancy. It'll be all right next time. It had better be, Mudge, or I shall be having a word with your employer about you. Morning, Mr Mudge. What do you call this? Hmm? Uh, meat and two veg, Your Majesty. I am not accustomed, chef. To eating meat and to veg. I am uh, very sorry, Your Majesty, very sorry. It's just that since the city slipped into this crater, there's uh, not been much available, Your Majesty. We uh, can't get proper supplies, and <laughs> not the luxury stuff anyway. And, uh... What nonsense! <laughs> ah! No! Dolly Clackhanger. There, Sploot. Put him down there. I thought a few light snacks might amuse Your Majesty. Your Majesty. My dear Miss Clackhanger, how very delightful. Shall we take it to the kitchen, Your Majesty? Certainly not. Go away, all of you. Most thoughtful of you, Miss Clackhanger. Most thoughtful. It is my pleasure to serve Your Majesty. Your well-being is uppermost in my mind at all times, and I... Good. To business, then. What news of the bucket? You will be pleased to know, Your Majesty, that I have perfected a new spell, which I feel sure will have the bucket in our hands by this very evening. It will... Excellent. Go and do it, then. 
Oh, yes, Your Majesty, at once. Up in Stiltsville, Bimble is on his way to work. But first he must make his customary visit to check on Teeny Weeny. We're going to run out of hiding places for the bucket soon, Teeny Weeny, if we keep having to find new ones. I know. We must look for somewhere proper. All this hanging about under bushes makes me nervous. I can't start looking yet, I'm afraid. I've got loads of things to do this morning. I know. Why don't you come with me? A sort of tour of Stiltsville. All right, then. I'm supposed to be taking this wall to my mother, so if I stick you in the bucket in the basket, it'll hide you. Good idea. We was just finishing our breakfast, you know. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm so very sorry to inconvenience you. <laughs> Follow me. The contents of this bottle will enable you to go into Stiltsville, find and follow the owner of the bucket... Bimble. ...until he leads you to it and then you will steal it. All completely unnoticed. How's that then, Dolly? Because, Bilge, you will be invisible. What? <laughs> this liquid will make you invisible. <laughs> oh, no, no. Thanks, Dolly. Uh, I don't think we... Stand still. But... And be quiet! <laughs> Fantastic! Oh! Oh, bother! My feet have gone all funny! And my hands! Look at my hands! We're birds! You've turned us into birds, Dolly! Well, it's not as good as being invisible, but I suppose it might work. You can't leave us like this! I, I mean, look at us! I am looking at you! And you look just like birds! <laughs> it's a perfect disguise! So get after that bucket! Only if you promise to turn us back as soon as we've done it. Oh, I promise, I promise. Now, go! more to this flying business than meets the eye. Give me a pogo stick any day. All the blood's rushing to me head. Well, come on in. We'll give it one more try. There he is, look. There. That's him. Where? There. I'll give you a quick tour, then hide you in our garden until I finish for lunch. Right. These people are the basket weavers. Like me. We need lots of baskets to hold all the wool. Morning, Bimbo. Morning. Morning. Yes, hello. Yes, wonderful, isn't it? Morning. Hello. We'll be black and blue if this goes on much longer. What we do if one of us breaks a wing or something, eh? Cos I tell you, I don't fancy walking all the way back to Chateau Clackhanger with these feet. We should never have agreed to come. We're too soft, that's our trouble. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't notice you doing any refusing. It was too late, wasn't it? I was covered in feathers by that time. And this is where all the wool sorted and washed and combed. Good morning. 
Morning. Nice day. Morning. And there's some spinners. That's what my mother does. And as they spin, they tell the stories into the wool. I don't know where they get the stories from, though. I do. Do you? Where? I'll show you one day. But... One day. I'll hide you in the garden, deliver this wool to Mother, and then I've got to go to work. What about a proper hiding place for the bucket? It's all very unsettling being pushed about from pillar to post, you know. As soon as it's lunchtime, I'll come back and we'll look for somewhere really good. I promise. Oh, all right then. Later. Bimble, you may go early. Not unless... But I have finished. Very well. Look! But be sure to be back on time. Thank you. I will. the hang of this fly stuff a bit more now. Uh, well, I can't wait to see how you're going to land at the same time as holding a bucket. Oh. I mean, I should think you could most probably do yourself a severe mischief. The objects to be levitated should be placed on a hard surface and... Oh, yes, it's on a bit more. Oh, yes, I'm speak the spell loudly and clearly, and the objects will then levitate or rise in the air. Right. Tum severakit liwa, ibu kragir bali wing, ikeli mai. It works! It works! <laughs> Bilge and Euler are coming! Golly! Bilge and Euler are coming! Epoch Rada Bowley Wingy Kill Team Times do I have to tell you? Spells cannot be performed when people are crashing and shouting all over the place. They need concentration and quiet. Quiet! 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 Build an order outside with a bucket, Dolly. Oh, then why didn't you say so? Uh. Oiler! What? I 
I suppose you would like to take the bucket for a bit. No fear. I'm not breaking me neck trying to land with it. monster. Poor teeny weeny! I must go and save her! What with an old bucket? Well, they're from Donny Clack Hanger, aren't they? Do you think so? Well, of course they are. Why have you got all those funny clothes on? Uh, no reason. We ought to get after them then. Come on. She's going to be ever so annoyed about that bucket, you know. Well, I'm going to be ever so annoyed if I drown. Don't worry. Dolly's bound to come and rescue us. I expect. There she is. See, she's come to rescue us. Bilge! Oila! Swim down to that rock and get the bucket! No fear! Not me. You heard me! Do it! <laughs> ah! Being swept away, Dolly. Well, what do you expect me to do about it? Uh, nothing. Levitation, that's it. My levitation experiment was going so well this morning before it was interrupted. Tum severakit liwa ipu kragir pauli wing nikeli mai. Oh, it's wedged too tightly. Oh, Sploot, I'm going to levitate you over to get the bucket. That'll be nice. Stand on the edge. Tum sevakit li wai bukra gebali wingi kiuli mai. Her magic's improving, isn't it? She's had enough practice. <laughs>
minister by tonight, and I can start making laws against those stupid villagers in Stiltsville first thing tomorrow morning. <laughs> la, 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 la. Can I have a go with the bucket before you take it, please, Dolly? No! Oh, please! Please let me, Dolly! Well, hurry up, then. <sighs> uh, I wish for... Uh, a party hat. Lovely. I, I wish for a, a balloon. A big red balloon. Oh, gosh! That was good. Well, he didn't say what sort of balloon, did he? What you've done! Look what you've done! I said you could have one wish! One! Now look what's happened to all my hard work and effort wasted by your stupidity! Sorry, Dolly. We're back, doll. Just? Ah. Uh, get building, you two. This whole place needs repairing. Repairing? His head was covered ear to ear In a pail he somehow stuck it And his plea was clear to me Free me from this bucket I could not foresee What fate had planned for me How could I tell a wishing well Is what this pail would be So I stepped up to show my stuff Pushed and pulled and nearly struck it Off it flew and from that grew The tail of Bimble's bucket The tail of 